So here we have the Fiat 500 1.2 S on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a three door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with the 50-50 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Uh, we've got the uh, speedometer on the white ring on the very outside of that central section. Uh, then the rev counter, and within that central pod, you can see the total miles on this car, which are 8,366. On the left-hand side, we've got the fuel gauge, and on the right-hand side, the coolant temperature gauge. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have stereo controls and voice activation for the phone. And on the right-hand side, further stereo controls and the ability to answer and end phone calls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you've paired the phone. And that is done on the touch screen over in the center by hitting the phone icon and following the instructions on screen from there. When it comes to uh, music in this car, firstly, of course, you have the uh, radio. This car's got DAB, AM, and FM. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do just hit the media button just there. Uh, there are a few ways to listen to your music. You can uh, do it via the USB input. You can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well, as you can see just up there. Uh, there is no USB device at the moment and there are no phones connected, so it's telling us to connect a device. Working our way down from that, we have this button which makes the power steering lighter. So for uh, parking uh, in a city center, for example, We've got the hazard warning lights and the front and rear fog lights. We then have the air conditioning. So temperature, fan speed, direction of the air is here. And then whether you're bringing in fresh air from outside the car or recirculating the air that's in the car, this button turns the air conditioning off or back on again. You then have the rear heated screen just at the bottom there. We have driver and passenger electric windows and a five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.